I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com, and it is uh, Wednesday, January 13th. Here's our three stocks I saw on TV video, and here's three I did see on TV. The first of all, GoPro, um, or as I call it, no-go. Look, they came out after hours and, you know, dropped their guidance, basically said the wheels have come off the wagon and we don't have a drone or anything to look at it. So we just basically just suck. And the stock is opening up uh, tomorrow, probably very, very far down. Here's the deal. First of all, I'll just say this as a general, members know this because I've been talking about this for months and months and months. You know, don't listen to the people on TV too much, at least if you do, realize that a lot of them, if they're on TV that much, really don't have anything better to do, like trade, so they don't know as much as you might think they do. Here's the point in that, and of course there are obvious exceptions to that rule. Hey, watch me. But here's the deal. I've said forever that GoPro is not a media company. They're a camera company, like Nikon or Canon. It's a commodity. That's it. You could do the same thing with an iPhone, a selfie stick, and a piece of Velcro. So the point is, this is not a media company. It's just a camera company, and they're coming out with horrible guidance. Right now, as I do this video, the stock is halted. And folks have been saying all the way down, hey, maybe this is an acquisition candidate. Maybe so, and the closer it gets to zero, the more of a candidate it's going to be. My suggestion is this. Um, you can buy the stock tomorrow morning, seriously, but under this condition. Whatever the opening print is, only buy it above that, not below it, because this stock could go to two, or it could come back to 14. We could just get a big, massive puke fest tomorrow morning where all the folks who were saying like oh this is a media company wow most of the videos on YouTube are made with hero cameras okay that's great good for you all those folks that are making the videos they already have one of those cameras use your head so the point is you could see the stock open up huge tomorrow down only be buying the stock if the stock is above the opening print and the reason is actually really simple because if the stock is above the opening print then you know that the aggressiveness of demand is higher than the aggressiveness of supply or the selling or put another way the sellers have kind of shot their ammunition they've puked it all up and now buyers are coming in saying okay I'll take advantage of it so that's a trade for you on GoPro if though you could say well hey man can I buy the stock if it doesn't go above the opening print sure if you want to but that's just not my suggested trade okay Chipotle um, news comes out today that the company thinks that um, the CDC is going to find that the E. coli deal has kind of gone away um, so the stocks up about six percent Here's the thing, I'm for that. I mean, you know the stock's not going to zero. Shoot, I just had a burrito bowl last weekend. I didn't get E. coli, so I'm good out here in Orange County. The point is, as long as the stock stays above 400, I think you're good to go on this thing. I, I do. I mean, this thing's had its market cap cut by, I want to say, like 25%. Um, yeah, a long time ago. Right now it's down 43%. It's about time for the stock to start going up. Finally, gold. It's been in a downtrend. It feels like forever. But the stock came out of a volatility squeeze, pulled back, and now with the wheels coming off the wagon in the market, China devaluing their currency. No, they're not currency manipulators. Not at all. They're our friend. Um, with them devaluing the currency, I don't know who that was that just said that. We could see gold catching a bid to move higher here. So I would just say if you're interested in buying gold or just trading it, I would say the trade is to the long side and you keep a stop like right back here, you know, a pretty tight stop. You keep it just in towards the top part of congestion right in the high 102s. So you're not really risking too much. 
um, on this trade to take advantage of, like I said, a devaluation of the currency, an imploding market, and a where the heck do I put my money trade. So anyway, that's it for these three stocks I saw on TV. You guys hang tough. Um, market's closer to a bottom than a top. We just don't exactly know when that's going to be. Probably tomorrow.